Now see a distance of closest approach. So, with the help of the Rutherford's alpha ray scattering experiment, this distance of closest approach was calculated and with the help of this, the size of the nucleus was estimated. Now, see here, first we take here an alpha particle and a nucleus. Suppose, you have taken a nucleus here, which has got the atomic number z, total charge is z e and there is alpha particle and this alpha particle here, we can write h e that is a nucleus of alpha particle uh, helium this alpha particle is moving with the velocity v. During this process, in this explanation, we assume nucleus is very heavy and when alpha particle strike, there is no motion of the nucleus. It means the motion of the nucleus is disregarded and also alpha particle, nucleus of alpha particle and this is, uh, this is a nucleus of this, these two things are considered as the point having the point size, no dimensions and also the collision between them is considered elastic collision due to coulombic force of repulsion. When this alpha particle moves this side, initially when it is far away from this, it has got the kinetic energy that is half m v square. As it moves to this side, its kinetic energy changes into electrostatic potential energy because the kinetic energy is spent in working against the coulombic force of repulsion. Suppose when alpha particle reaches to this point, this distance is r naught and it does not touch to this point here. So, when at this point it gets rebounds, uh, gets bounce back here like this. So, at this moment collision takes place without touching and this collision is considered to be elastic collision. So, when the alpha particle is at this distance, it is assumed that there is entire kinetic energy converted into potential energy that is the electrostatic potential energy. So, its charges are 2 E. So, we can write 1 upon m v square is equal to that is the kinetic energy is equal to 2 E into z E divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r naught. This r naught is known as distance of closest approach and this r naught can be written twice of z E square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into half m v square. So, this is the distance r naught that is called the distance of closest approach.